Hey guys, and welcome back. It's Polo Man again. Today we're going to cover uh, base defense and um, some of the different things that, that I've done that I want to show you guys that uh, I found effective on a couple bases that I tried to attack and um, actually have lost um, one or two times to them. I, I have beat them um, once each, but uh, I have lost a couple times to each of them also. So it uh, it's something similar to what I'm showing you here and um, I kind of adapted uh, both of the base setups into uh, into what I have here so the first thing you're going to want to do is go around the outside and line up your buildings around the outside perimeter here uh, and it's going to depend it's going to depend on uh, what, what you have as far as weaponry, what level you're at, how much stuff you have, and, and how, how big your and elaborate your layout's going to be, of course. Uh, some of you may only have one piercing cannon or two. Some of you have three, four. So, uh, you know, different, uh, different options for different folks. So uh, let's start with that, and we go all the way around. And the reason that we separate these is because uh, a lot of people are using the, the bombs to attack now, the fire bombs. If you're familiar with those, um, the uh, the fire bombs they do quite a bit of damage. Um, so, what you want to do if you group these little things together, let's say I put them all together here in a corner, that is just a feeding ground for a fire bomb. The first thing I would do if I was attacking was drop a fire bomb right there, and I would get a ton of energy from destroying all those buildings. So you want to keep it spread out. Okay. Secondly. We want to put the finca right here in the middle towards the back. We want to have uh, some room behind it for some defenses. And uh, we want our major action going on right here in the front, uh, kind of in a circular motion. I'm going to come in on that. If you look here, uh, I have just recently gotten a couple new Sicarios for, uh, for my base area. So I'm going uh, I'm gonna to do another video here in a little bit on uh, base Sicario so you can uh, kind of see that I'm gonna do some leveling up and a talent fuse too but I want you guys to see how I've placed these these rocket launchers are kind of and uh, my piercing cannons here and then a nerve gas cannon kind of in a circle and they all kind of flow right around these guys here in the middle so they're all getting the benefit of these guys here in the middle so what you want to do is, is get that so you're getting the extra from these guys from your Sicarios but you're kind of being spread apart far enough where you're not going to lose everything during firebomb damage okay so next thing you want to do after that or place your piercing cannons and get them you, or your piercing cannons are back here actually uh, I have two up front there but I have one back here as a safety precaution um, when I get two of them I can uh, switch that up a little bit, but then I've got my regular cannons back here as well uh, Keep upgrading these things uh, all of these defenses these major defenses your cannons uh, Your rocket launchers your piercing cannons. Those are huge defenders And then you keep upgrading them and you keep them here with your Sicarios and uh, They're gonna get keep getting stronger and stronger keep leveling your Sicarios up uh, and you're going to see a huge difference. These Sicarios at level 60, 50 are going to be a huge difference. You guys come in, they're not going to die right away. They're not going to be pushovers. So um, if I had the, uh, the Plata, I would have these guys leveled way up. But man, Plata is hard to come by right now. So anyway, uh, after you get your cannons set in place, uh, you want to come in with machine guns in the front areas and then fill in any uh, spots that you may need some extra firepower okay then you're gonna come back with your mortars and um, your flamethrowers just to fill in some areas um, that are missing you know maybe holes in your plan there uh, place your C4 in high traffic areas where you think that people will come through if you watch your replay when you uh, you come over here you can watch the replay um, watch the replay see how you were attacked see where people are going you'll be able to tell uh, where to place that C4 in your plan so um, your Sicarios 
are going to play a major, major role in your base defense. I can't stress this enough. They're very important. Uh, that's why we're going to do a whole video based on them uh, next. And uh, I want you guys to watch that. You're going to learn a lot there and what to do with these guys and um, how they can help you defend your base. I'm telling you what, I had this... Uh, this Victor just ate about six of my Fuegos up and they are they're level 13 and he just killed them all and I lost the battle but that's the way it goes so just remember that you're setting up your base for people who are lower level than you because you're not on a higher level person's map you're on somebody who's lower than you's map so they're always looking to beat you so you want to think about that uh, you're not looking to beat somebody who's four levels higher than you you're looking to be somebody who's your level maybe a couple levels lower so keep that in mind that's your focus uh, and you're always upgrading and working towards uh, getting a better defense okay in the end we all still get beat you know it's just the nature of the game um, but just remember that upgrading these Sicarios upgrading the major weapons you're gonna start seeing those uh, these de defenses that you want okay all right, guys, thanks for watching. Um, we'll see you next time. Be sure to look for that video on base Sicarios and uh, subscribe to my channel.